Green, Cottonai De Silva had a personal best of 20.13. Semi-final number two, Canada's Glenn Smith is running in lane two. Patrick Stevens will not start. He returned home to attend his grandmother's funeral. Glenn Smith just qualified as the result of a disqualification in his first round. And something he's been working on leading to the semi-final, his starts. First 100 meters is it tend to, it tends to be a little bit my weak point. I'm really strong in the last 100, but um, I, I can get out very good too. It just I tend to be a little bit more inconsistent in the first 100. So. Has your reaction time been good to the gun? Yeah, I'm usually a good reactor. I just the first couple of movements after that that uh, I tend to not be as good at. But, you know. Well, everything will have to go particularly well for Glenn Smith, the 24-year-old from Calgary, to advance because he's up against Frankie Fredericks of Namibia. And he is one of the most decorated athletes of all time at the World Championships. He's got four Olympic and four World Silver Medals. He was the 200 meters champion in Stuttgart in 1993. He is a superb turn runner and relaxes beautifully up the straightaway. One of the really. Marlon Devonish of Great Britain running in lane five. Francis Obikwello of Nigeria in lane three. Other contenders expected to move on to the final of the 200. Ben Smith didn't get as good a start as he wanted to, but Frankie Frederick certainly came flying. So did Devonish. And as they come off the bend on the inside, it is Obik Wello leading the way. A very upright running style on the outside. Marcin Erbis of Poland is moving well. Frankie Fredericks is there, and so is Kevin Little of the United States. And finishing last in this semi-final, Canada's Glenn Smith. 19.84 for that 200 with a win of plus 1.7. So very, very good conditions and a superb run by Obi Kwello of Nigeria. He can hardly believe the time as he looks at the scoreboard and sees 1984. He quickly glances down the track to see what the wind conditions were. This has been an outstanding run by Obikwello of Nigeria, a former world junior 100, 200 meter champion. And Obikwello in lane three gets a good start. Glenn Smith dropped a little already and he'll find it difficult up the straightaway therefore. Frankie Fredericks running well just outside Obiquello, but he's trying to keep himself in one piece for the final. He's not 100% fit, and this shows down the straightaway as Obiquello has a good three meters lead on Frankie Fredericks. And on the left of the screen, the two men from Poland, Urbas from Poland, and Kevin Little of the United States moving well, but Obiquello well aware from everyone else, and a beautiful run of under 20 seconds by the Nigerian. Herbus, Kevin Little, and Frankie Fredericks move on to the final. Canada's Glenn Smith is eliminated. He's with Ron. Right, Witt and Glenn, uh, we showed a clip just before your race in which you said you'd try to get out of the blocks uh, successfully. Uh, how'd you feel about the start? Um, I had a hard time in the lane two there. <laughs> I was really struggling. Uh, just, uh, I'm a pretty guy, and it's kind of hard in there fighting in the inside lanes, but... So I don't think I got out of that bad. I just, uh, you know, I had a tough time in there. <laughs> Must be demoralizing when you know the strength of the field and coming around the bend, you've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, well, I mean, there's nothing, you know, you just do what I do. <laughs> what do you think about Francis' 1984? Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's a pretty fast time. <laughs> for, uh, no, for, just for a semifinal, for sure. <laughs> I think you may have blown it out there, and uh, do you see Frederick Green as the two to beat? Um... I think uh, Maurice is still the man to beat. Um, I, although, with, with if Francis runs like that, it's gonna be a, he'll have a tough time for sure. He'll have to work for it. Well, again, congrats on getting uh, as far as you did. That's a great step. Thank you. Glenn Smith of Calgary. Now let's return to Don and Michael and more of the decathlon.